Today we're going to try and name European cities from oil paintings. Kia ora all, welcome to Mr Quiz. Today we're doing another fan made quiz. Thank you very much to uh, Matt Isit for making this quiz for me. Uh, looks absolutely fantastic. We are trying to name European cities in these oil paintings. So yeah, should be a bit of a challenge. Now one thing I will note is these pictures are quite small, <laughs> even on a higher zoom. So what I'm going to be doing uh, is using my little zoom magnifier here. Hopefully that looks okay. Um, I would say in future, if you're making these type of quizzes, a slideshow does work best, but we'll, um, we'll make do. This should be okay. We do also only have five minutes, which I don't think is long enough. We'll switch it to practice mode because I would like to not just spam cities, you know? I would like to have an educated guess about what is what. So let's get into it now and see how we get on. Let's have a look and go through them one by one and see what we're looking at. Okay, is that, there's a cathedral there. Oh, this is really going to test my knowledge of cathedrals, right? Okay, so this one is a canal. Uh, that should just be straight up Venice, I would say. Let's type in Venice and see if it's the correct answer for number two. It is indeed Venezia in Italia. Now, let's move on to number three. All right, so immediately this looks a little bit uh, more northern, I suppose. Um, excuse Excuse my cursor in the middle there, I can't really move that around, I'm afraid. Um, this could be like St. Petersburg, maybe, as a chance. Yes, perfect. Okay, wow, look at that, they've made it even in uh, 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 Cyrillic. Okay, the next one I think I know straight away, I think that's the Hagia Sophia. So that would be Istanbul uh, in Turkey. Wonderful. Let's move down one row. <laughs> And onto this one, which I don't immediately recognize. Uh, that building does look somewhat familiar. Man, oil paintings have a tendency to be a little bit, uh, not generic, that's not the right word. But um, yeah, every city looks a little bit similar to the next one. I was wondering if this might be London. Is that St. Paul's Cathedral? It's possible that's like a royal flotilla going down the Thames. I'm not 100% sure of that, so we'll come back to it just um, because I don't want to be uh, accidentally getting one of them, uh, one of the next ones correct when I don't mean to. Right, this one has a flag, right? So is that a Dutch flag at the top left? Uh, it's a canal and it ships. This does look pretty, I'm pretty silly, I'm 90% sure that's Amsterdam, but uh, again, let's just fill it in at the end once we've admired the pictures. This is rubble of something. Um, I mean, I'm not sure when this was painted exactly, if it was kind of post-World War II or if it's predating that. It does look like it's been bombed kind of heavily, but it could also be ruins for another reason. The next one, uh, that is the Parthenon, the Acropolis in uh, Greece, so that should just be Athens. Let's have a look at that, brilliant. And then we have... Uh, something which is a little harder to ID. So we'll move on from that. Again, this one is a little harder to see. And then we've got a... Like a bridge. Um, nothing immediately obvious otherwise. Okay, let's um, bring these up. That's another, well, oh gosh, this is just a Chinook River and a bridge. This one, at least we have a little bit of snow. Um, so that, I mean, could be Moscow or Stockholm or something like that. And then here it's a little bit smaller. And then this one is, like, there's ships there, which, I mean, implies that it's coastal. Down here, this is Florence, right? This is the... Um, on the right, you can see the famous uh, dome of Florence, so that should be Firenze. And then we've got, is this Schloss Schönbrunn in Vienna? There's a chance it is. I'm sure Vienna is gonna be in this quiz somewhere. And then a very tiny little one, possibly a ruined city. So, oh, maybe Vesu, not Vesuvius, come on, uh, Pompeii, right? Uh, that could very well be Mount Vesuvius in the background. And then what appears to be an aqueduct. So let's try um, Pompeii. Yep, perfect. Uh, we're going to try Amsterdam for this one. Oh, no, Amsterdam was this one here. Okay. 
<laughs> uh, but we're going to try London for this one with the flotilla. Perfect, that is incorrectly London. Uh, so we're 8 out of 20. I mean, yeah. I, I would say 7 out of 20, which I was 100% sure on. And let's try Vienna for this one down the bottom here, which I think might be... Nope, this is Vienna here. Okay, so I was uh, I was wrong. <laughs> um, it's not like Versailles, is it? No. Paris? Oh, there is a Paris here. Yeah, that makes sense. It's, uh, that looks a lot like Paris. Um, is this Neem, maybe? No, I knew there was a um, big aqueduct near Neem. Why, is this a Dutch flag? It's hard to make out if it's blue at the end there, at the bottom. Um, if it's, it could be like Rotterdam. or I mean, there's a lot of oil paintings from Ghent, but it's not. And what's this one here? Is this is that Cologne Cathedral? I don't think it is. Oh, it is. Okay, perfect. My mistake. Right. Uh, I mean, one of these is going to be Rome, right? This could easily be Rome. Yeah, perfect. Roma. Um, and then... <laughs> this looks kind of like Swiss, maybe. I can try Zurich. No. Hmm. See, I just want to spam guesses, really. What about, like, I'm um, Stockholm for this one? Uh, with That's Icy, or Copenhagen. No. Um, it's Moscow? No. Okay, th then let's work on these ship ones here, then. Um, Napoli. Um... It's probably not going to be Oslo or Helsinki, I would think. Like, Hamburg? That's a chance, right? No. Uh, Antwerp? Oh, is this one, um... How should I say? Uh, what's its name? Uh, Toledo? It just looks a bit like an El Greco painting. But it's not. Okay. Uh, is Madrid going to be here at all? It is not. Uh, okay, this one here. I feel like I should be able to get to get this probably um like prague it definitely feels like kind of Habsburg. okay this is prague yeah okay that makes sense is that the charles bridge perhaps um and this one is interesting i wonder if there's a clue here perhaps this is where my lack of knowledge of roofs really lets me down uh, this coastal one though is annoying that almost looks like british doesn't it is it like Glasgow? Yes, there we go. What a guess. That's amazing. Sorry, I mean, I'm just very, very happy with that. Um, okay, uh, we have still have six to get. Okay, this one, let's work on this one with the flag, because surely it can't be that difficult. Is that a Dutch flag? I cannot tell. But there's ships, there's canals. Um, so... Like, obviously, Belgium was part of the Netherlands for a decent amount of time. Uh, like, Den Haag, Delft. And there was a lot of, like, art coming out of Delft at the time. And what about the one next to it, this ruined one? Like, is it going to be, like, Warsaw? Okay, Warsaw is here. What was Warsaw? Okay, this this painting here, that's... um. Can't really see any clues to go on there at all. Um, but I'll take it. Hmm. Like, is there going to be a Munich one here? I think mean, Coventry got bombed pretty hard during the war. Here's the Dresden. But I'm just not sure what... Oh, there it is. Dresden. Okay, perfect. Um... So that's definitely post-World War II, which does change things a little bit, although we can probably guess the time period. All right, so this is kind of fun, actually. I think I'm not just spamming guesses, which is good. I think we need to aim to get 100% here. Uh, so this one is... It's, that's not a Hungarian flag, is it? No. It looks so much like a Dutch flag. Okay, and there's any of these. I'm thinking of other cities that could be here, potentially. 
Like this one is, oh, this one looks so familiar. Is there possibly like a Salzburg in here? Um, like Leipzig, I'm thinking of places which are kind of happening places in like the 19th or 18th century. And then this one here is just, There's some of this architecture on places in Spain, I think. Wow. I'm not sure where that came from, but uh, did they go to Malaga in the Amazing Race last season? They went somewhere which looked very similar to that, so maybe that's why that's where I pulled it from. Okay. Um, I feel like we kind of have to get 100% now. That was going to be the hardest one. So there's this one with canals. Did I did I try Amsterdam? Okay, I'm, I'm pleased I did. Uh, are we just going to start spamming um, Dutch cities? <sighs> Do the Dutch have any like ports? Uh, hold on, maybe this is not a. Maybe it's just a Dutch ship and not actually a Dutch port. Maybe like some kind of one of those Hanseatic cities like Bergen or Lubeck or Kiel. Um, and then we've got the snowy one, which I actually feel should be pretty gettable. Like, Kiev, maybe? And then this, like, kind of gorgeous-looking imperial estate. This looks Austrian, or, like, kind of Bohemian, or Bavarian, perhaps. Okay, this is Krakow. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I think, did I try Warsaw for this one? I think I did. We've got two Polish ones back to back. All right, I, I'm putting the Netherlands out of my mind. I'm putting Belgium out of my mind. Let's look at the architecture on the canals. Is this a canal? It could just be a dock, right? So, in that case, let's think of cities in Europe that were suitable for ships docking. Like, presumably, like, trade ports kind of thing. Barcelona. Milan is more likely for the, the big house. Um, Verona, of course, is inland. I don't know. Genoa is a seaport. No. I felt unlikely, but not terrible. Uh, Danzig. There we go. Gdansk in Poland. Yeah, okay. That strategy paid off beautifully. Now, I mean, this could be gettable or it could be not. It could be somewhere big or it could be... Could be somewhere tiny. Um, so, let's not rush into just like spam guessing first of all. I think we're going to have to give it a little bit of, a little bit of thought. Okay, I think I might have to admit defeat, unfortunately. I do apologise for that, um, because I know it is frustrating when I can't quite get there. Let's just have a quick last little look. We do have, like, kind of faux Roman Greek-type statues on the staircase, but that doesn't really help much because they were everywhere in Europe at the time. Um, there's a church in the kind of far distance on the left but again that doesn't help much the buildings on the right do look a little italian um but that again i don't think just don't think i'm going to be able to get there so let's put ourselves out of our misery say thank you very much to matt isit for a fantastic quiz and hopefully it's something which i wasn't going to get anyway otherwise i will kick myself all day Ah, it was something I was missing. Wow, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. It was a small um, principality, or a duchy, I suppose. Um, 
it fit all the criteria we were thinking of, kind of Northern Europe. Um, I mean, not quite um, Holy Roman Empire, I don't think, but uh, close enough for it to fit the criteria. And yeah, just never went back to Luxembourg. Oh, that's annoying because there were so many good guesses in that uh, quiz. Just not enough um, persistence at the end, I guess. Another 10 minutes, maybe I would have got there. Maybe I wouldn't have. Uh, Greece, uh, Athens, Greece was the most uh, widely correct answer, followed by Amsterdam, London, Istanbul, and Vienna. Gdansk was a great guess. Uh, Malaga slash Ronda in Spain was a great guess. Krakow was a great guess, even though I believe I may have um, got a bit lucky there. Pompeii was good. Um, Glasgow was good. Glasgow was my favourite guess, I think. You two can make quizzes for me. Um, if you want some advice, you can message me beforehand. I, like I say, these probably work a little bit better as a slideshow, but this was still fun. My Patreon and buy me a coffee links are below if you wanted to support the channel. That would be amazing. And until next time, I shall see you later. Kakita Bye.